day folks I'm just on the side of the highway here you can see that's the highway up there there's vehicles going by and I was to this location I don't know maybe three years ago I stopped and just kind of checked it out but I didn't find anything so I stopped again today and uh, today I have located a bit of trash here there's a galvanized bucket there and one here there's another one somewhere oh right down here at my feet I see there's something right here okay that would have been an ornament or something anyways I've been scraping around there in this little uh, little bit of a uh, gully or trench here and there is some glass coming out but nothing complete yet but it is fairly old there was a piece of manganese that's that's manganese there kind of hard to tell covered in dirt but it is and uh you know some pottery pieces but anyways i'm gonna keep digging around i just have a small digger with me look there's a cork top piece there plate shared there's another one there anyways i'm gonna keep uh, scraping around here if I find anything more interesting, I'll get you back up on. The last time I was here, it was probably in the middle of summer, and there was a the grass was quite tall here, so I couldn't really see much. Here's something blue right up here, I see. Yeah, check it out. Part to an insulator. That would have been nice. Pretty color. All right, get you back up if I find anything. Okay, well, I'm still here on the side of the highway, checking this spot out. And the first thing that come out of the hole is right here. It's a little ink. I'm just checking now to see if it's machine made or blown. Looks like it's machine made. But it looks like it's a fairly early one. I don't think it's manganese glass, but can't be too sure about these things until you get them cleaned up. But there it is. All right, on the board. <laughs> Little shard just come out. Check it out. Well, there's lots of plate shards and stuff down in here. I might keep that one actually. It's a nice looking shard. A big clump of dirt I pulled out. Let's see if there's anything in it. I yeah, thought that was a clay marble there for a second. Uh, I don't see anything there. Okay, I'll keep plugging away here. I got a couple other spots I want to stop at too, as well. So if this one doesn't pan out, maybe we'll get into something somewhere else. Well, it's still here digging around folks I went back to the car and got my shovel because after finding that ink I thought there might be some other stuff here but so far just broken stuff see I got a pretty good pile of stuff going there but st still always like to dig around you never know what somebody might have missed if they've already dug or something that's just hidden to the side there's a nice shard there beauty so I got another bottle that just He's just scraped up right here. See it? And is it embossed? Yes, it is. Awesome. This says Montreal on this edge. It's edge embossed. I'm going to guess the other side says Nervaline. Yep, that's what it is. Nervaline. Awful muddy. And uh, it's a nice corker. Looks to be a machine made one though. But still, uh, still a good find, probably from the 1920s, maybe earlier, kind of hard to tell actually. But I'll take it, get her cleaned up, and uh, keep on digging. <laughs> Thumbs up! <laughs> It is a beautiful day here, folks, and I am overheating. Wow. Well, I got one in the hole here. This shadow of the tree is almost right on it, but it's right here. It looks like it's whole. Time will tell. Let's get it out. 
All right. Yeah, still looks like it's whole, but is it embossed? It is. <laughs> Sweet. It's a Raleigh's. All right, I'll take that. Yes, sir. A bit of a light aqua blue color to it. Cool. Well, that's what I'll tell you. That's better than nothing. Uh, machine made yet. Yeah. All right. That's three whole ones out here so far. A lot of work, though. Well, folks, I'm still here on the side of the highway. But I'm not down in the trench anymore. I'm up on the side of the bank. As I've moved further into the unknown. i got a patch of glass up here on the side of the bank. i got two cobalt blues out of there. Looks like it's from the 30s or 40s. That would have been nice. That's a uranium glass. And it is complete except for the base is busted off it that would have been real nice and uh, what else we got here this one here if I had to guess I'd say that is a uh, Scots emulsion cod liver oil Let's pull it out yep it is embossed nice amber one yeah most likely from the 40s so I'll keep that. People seem to like these for some reason. Must be the embossing on them. All right. Oh look. Oh, well, that's a broken cobalt. I thought it was a a uh, manganese glass. Good day, folks. Well, I've been out yard selling for a couple hours. Just picked up a few odds and ends. A couple of these skull bottles for fifty cents each. These other things are all like a buck a piece. There's a little cast iron axe. Guy give me the whistle because it's blown out. It doesn't work anymore. A couple of these little wooden things here I might give away. Got a brass shoe for a buck. And one of these little figurines. Another couple bucks for that guy. A small sad iron. And number two down. Two. Five bucks for that one. And I picked up this crock as well, right here, which uh, they had a $10 tag on that one, so it's in pretty good condition, really mint condition. So anyways, I'm on my way back, and uh, I'm going to head down into the woods here and have a look around. Okay, so I have seen some tin cans and stuff down through the woods here. Uh, I just spotted this one here, looks like a black label, really rough shape. But here's a amber bottle right here. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see if it's embossed or anything. Nope. Looks like something from the 30s, maybe. All right, well, got my little digger here, so I'm going to keep looking around. If I see anything, I'll get you back up on. Well, the sunlight shining just in the right position. Here now, folks. I'm amongst all these rocks here on the side of this big cliff. And I've seen it shining on this bottle over here. Check it out. Guess what it is? Gordon's Dry Gin. Nice oldie with a the uh, cork and seal lid on it. Right on. edge embossed as well in case you haven't seen these before and uh, just as I peer down here I see there's another big pile of bottles and cans down here Let's see if I get focused on them see that stuff all down there I hear an animal it's been a deer laying down I startled it okay This patch is definitely looking like it's from the 30s, maybe. That's what I was thinking. This weird kind of screw top lids on these 30s or 40s, perhaps. Dug around a little bit here. This here just come out. Check it out. What the heck is that? It must be a piece like off a chandelier. 
Looks like it's snapped off right here. Nice piece of glass though, just the same. Cool. I'll keep digging around. Next find folks, I just scraped this out. Looks like a mirror. Now, I wonder if that handle, I wonder if that glass piece was off that. Huh. Well that's possible. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is made of brass by the looks of it. I should keep you up while I scrape around there a little bit more. There's something else down in there. What's that? Glass, too. I don't have my gloves on me. Okay, well, I'll shut you off for now and get you back up if I find anything. Okay, folks, so I cleaned the dirt out of that uh, mirror there, and that last piece is most definitely the handle to that. That is very cool. Minus that root hanging off it. <laughs> cool piece. Can't get a good uh, lighting on it there. Right on. It fits perfectly. Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here for another bottle digging recap extravaganza. <laughs> That's right. Doesn't get any more exciting than that. Okay. Well, this uh, old video took place at two different locations. And also, I got some uh, yard sale and finds in there as well. And uh, so let's go over the yard sale finds first, real quickly. Well, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this stuff. First off, we got these two Crystal Head Vodka Bottles. At the yard sale. Those are nice little uh, finds there. I forget what they were, like a buck a piece or two bucks or something. Uh, this here, tiny little sad iron. I'm guessing that's, I don't know what that is, two pounds maybe? And I believe that little sucker was five bucks. Nice little purchase. And then finally for yard sale finds, well there was other stuff but this is just all I'm going to show. If you go back in the video you can see everything. Now this whistle, which I'm going to put to use. Now when I bought it, the guy, actually the guy, I didn't buy it, the guy gave it to me. And he said it was blown out like it was uh, broke. But, shh, shh. Seems to work fine for me. It's metal. And uh, you really just got to wet it a little bit. And uh, <laughs> works fine. Just wet your whistle, folks. Wet your whistle. <laughs> mm hmm. What am I wetting my whistle with tonight? Anybody got any ideas? Take a guess. Disarono. That's right. Okay. Moving right along. So like I say, I'm not going to spend too much time on these bottles because they're basically all just common bottles and there's about, I would say, about $10 worth in total here. So <laughs> nothing to get too excited about and uh, nothing to call the New York Times about front page news here. This here is a Scots Emulsion Cod Liver Oil from the 1940s, most likely. You can see the fishermen there with the cod on them. I find lots of these in this area and I got two of them at this site. This one here has got a cork, or maybe it's some Scots Emulsion, big gunk of that, chunk of that. 
gobbed up in the end of it. I don't know. And I'm not going to play with it too much. I got this nice colored green bottle here. And this is kind of like a shot glass lid on it. Check it out. That's kind of cool. It's a McCallum's Scots whiskey. Not Scotch, but Scots. Very cool, very cool. We got the Gordon's Dry Gin. We got a Raleigh's bottle. We got one of these fancy little things. I find these all over the place. 1940s, 1950s dumps. They come in a variety of different sizes. And we got the old Nervaline. Nice little corker from Montreal, Canada. Two cobalt blues. And, oh yes, about cleaning bottles. It reminded me when I was cleaning this. People ask me all the time how I clean my bottles. Well, first, I just give them a quick clean with a brush and some water. Scrub it, you know, you got to use a little elbow grease. Do the best you can. Then I let them dry. And lots of times, as you can see with this one here, once they dry, you can see what you missed. So then you just go along and go over it again in those spots and uh, clean up what you missed. Twice over usually does it. Uh, we got this here at one of the sites. I glued the handle back on it. Check it out. And the back there, it's a rougher wear, obviously, but I'm going to focus. Kind of. You know, would have been nice in its day. Nice in its heyday. We got this shard here with a Japanese design on it. And that there, I'm going to say, is definitely a dragon on this shard. Definitely a dragon. 100% dragon on that piece. And then I got uh, a rare Queen Anne Scotch lid, which reminds me of a story of a guy a couple of years ago told me he found a bottle dump. And uh, he said it was from the early 1800s. I'm like, you're kidding, where at? So he gave me the location. He says, yeah, I got a, I got a, a whiskey bottle out of it. I said, really? He said, yeah, I looked it up online. And it's a rare bottle. I said, you're kidding. Nope. He says, it's a rare Queen Anne Scotch bottle. It still had the metal lid on it. <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> now, tell that to somebody that doesn't know the difference. Uh, a metal lid that you can still read from the early 1800s. Okay. <laughs> and I got some swamp land to sell you down in Florida. If you're interested. <laughs> Good old rare Queen Anne Scotch bottles. <laughs> okay, folks, over and out. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.